is what the movie quality looked like back then in the 19th century. This is her speech in the original. We actually wrote this in English. You can see on this special occasion is commemorate the 100th anniversary of his birth. China and then he left to work in Hawaii and then he became really successful. His fortune grew so that he became known as the king of Maui. Very generous. So this is his son. He left Honolulu. Then he went to the United States to study at the UC. He received his master's degree in natural sciences from Columbia. And he served in the government. He moved back to the United States and he served as president of the Exam Yong in Taiwan and he died in Taipei. These are the letters that Sun Yat sen wrote to his son, Sun Fong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Memorial Park of Sinai Revolution. Hey guys, so we just came back from the museum. It was a lot of fun. We saw a lot of interesting Chinese artifacts and to see what life was like in the 19th century. How he started out and then he became this big ruler trying to make better China. Just so you guys know, Dr. Sun Yat-sen is the most famous person in Zhongshan because Zhongshan is named after him. That is probably the most famous place that we could have visited in Zhongshan and Took a lot of great pictures and saw a lot of great things. It was definitely worth it. Now we're in the car. It's going to take us 30 minutes to get to a department store. We're going to check it out and I'll see you later. You guys saw the video of the cane sugar being produced into juice. I actually have a bottle. It was five dollars and China dollars, so it's pretty good price. It's sweet and authentic and fresh. Oh my god.
guys, right now we're at Saving More. Because we spent enough money at Sin Garden, we get some coupons that we can spend here. Or any kind of store, but it has to have some kind of contract. We have $40 to spend. So we're just trying to find stuff to buy. I have $80 to spend total. I already used up the 40. Now I have another 40 and I'm going to buy these elastics. They look really nice and this is the coupon. You can see it says 20 and 20. So yeah. So this is Boifago Osmanthus cake for $24, so about $4 each. So you can see it's gelatinous I'm going to eat this. I can taste the coconut pudding. Boifago. Boifago. I like the pattern it has. Basically, it tastes like pudding that's coconut flavored. It's definitely a nice treat. It also had a really coffee taste. When it was the early 1900s, kings would eat this for dessert. It's definitely a high class, luxurious treat back then, and it's really good. This is Wei San Chu Shao, taste and hook, chicken hand. I got this. This is pork hand, not the chicken hand. And I'm going to try it out so then you can see. So it's kind of rubbery, very flavorful. And there's pork skin in it. Yeah, it's rubbery, you have to bite hard, but it's really good. So I definitely recommend this. I'm going to try this one as well. This came with it, and this tastes like potato. That is a good dish. I'm going to try the fish. A lot of chili on it. Might be a little bit spicy, but I'm going to try it out. Wow, this is really fresh, mm -hmm. very clean, and I don't really taste the pepper here. The pepper was just on the top, little pepper flakes. This is good, and let me try this out. It was a melon that came with the fish, and that is good too, so this is definitely a good dish. And I usually don't like fish because of the bone but this is good definitely good but today was a fun day guys tomorrow my aunt and uncle from hong kong are coming here they were here before but they just went back for a wedding we're gonna do more clothes shopping because my aunt sharon has really good fashion sense she'll come along with us we're done with dinner and we're gonna head home i hope you have an awesome time and i'll see you tomorrow